Hey, boys and girls, how are you today? Look at what I have in this bag. Take a look. What does it say on the bag? It says Russell Stovers. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's a company that makes chocolate. Lots and lots of chocolate. And you know what? I wish this bag was full of chocolate. But it isn't. It's full of things for a job I like to do the least. And I bet you guys, oh, some of you might like to do this, but not me. It's stuff for cleaning. Ugh. But let's take a look and see what's inside the bag. Here's something you might recognize. This orange container, we see a lot of times in the store and we see it advertised on TV. And it is a container for laundry detergent. This is what we put in the washer to wash our clothes and make them clean. Now, I don't mind doing laundry so much because all you have to do is put it in the tub and put the soap in and shut the door. But that's what it is. It cleans your clothes. Let's see what else we have. Oh, dear. Oh, these I should use more often. These you might not have seen before. But inside, there's little packets. And inside each packet, there's a little piece of soft cloth that comes out that's wet. And you use it to clean your glasses. Well, I should clean my glasses more often, but this is another thing that we use to clean. I'll put them over here. Let's see what else I have. Oh, dear. What's this? This is a little package of, what do you think? Kleenex. What do we clean with Kleenex? our nose. Or sometimes if we have a spill or something, we wipe it up real quick with the Kleenex. Or if we have food on our face, your mom might take a Kleenex and clean it off. But it's used for cleaning too. Hmm, my, what shall I pick out next? Now here's something that goes with the orange thing I showed you. This is OxyClean. And you know what it cleans? It cleans your washer. So you clean your clothes in the washer, and then you put this in the washer to clean the washer. That's called double clean. Now, you don't use this every time, but you use it once in a while. But it cleans your washer. And I didn't know about this till fairly recently. And let's see what this is. This is soap for your dishwasher. Put it in your dishwasher, shut it up, and it cleans your dishes. Works pretty well, too. It's lots better than doing them by hand. Think I'm about done? Nope. This kind of is wet with the one before. This is garbage disposal cleaner. How many of you have a garbage disposal in your sink in the kitchen? And you can put apple parings or orange parings or whatever down the garbage disposal and it goes and grinds them up. Well, this is to clean the garbage disposal because sometimes garbage disposals get real stinky. And you drop one of these pills in there and you turn the water on real little and it foams up and cleans out the garbage disposal. Bet you think I'm about done, don't you? I'm not. Now, most of you or all of you are going to know what this is because we've been using it like crazy this year. This is hand sanitizer. And what does it clean? It cleans your hands. And with COVID, I bet you we've gone through gallons of hand sanitizer. It's something I used very little of before COVID, but now I use it all the time. So it cleans your hands. Oh, goodness, I'm running out of room. And next we have these little things. Now this man is Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean, and he is a cleaning freak. He cleans everything. 
And this is something relatively new he has out. It looks like a book, and when you open it up, there are little sheets that you tear out, and when you tear them out, you can clean with them, and they're treated with something, and they clean everything real well. They're like a sponge that has special stuff in it. So that's Mr. Clean. There's a song about Mr. Clean, but I don't remember how it goes, so you're going to luck out today. So that's another cleaning thing, Mr. Clean. I better not put it up there because it's going to fall down. I'll put it here. Two left. What is this? This is toothpaste. And what does it clean? Your ears? No. You put it on your toothbrush and you clean your teeth. And that's very important. You should clean your teeth at least twice a day. And it makes your teeth nice and clean. And finally, we have this. And this, oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze just thinking about this. This is what you spray in the bathroom if the bathroom gets stinky and it cleans the air and makes the smell go away. I'm sure none of you ever make the bathroom stinky, but just in case you did, Mr. the Glade will take care of it. I almost said Mr. Clean, but he won't come in and take care of it. The Glade will. Okay, so we've talked about lots and lots of things that help us clean. And again, I don't like to use any of them except probably the toothpaste. The rest of them, not so much, because they're a lot of work. However, it's very important that we keep our house clean and our body clean. However, there's another kind of clean that we don't ever use any of these things for. Because besides the toothpaste, it would be very, very dangerous to play or mess around with any of these products because they could make you very, very sick. They're only designed for what their purpose is. You only use them when you're supposed to. And really, for kids, moms and dads would use these. You would use the toothpaste. But now we're going to talk about how you clean yourself on the inside. Now, the only product here, like I said, that we would use on the inside is the toothpaste. None of these things clean our insides. And, you know, you can't say, well, let's see, it's been a while since I cleaned my lungs. I think I'll take them out today and run them through the washer. Would that work? Of course not. Or let me see, I haven't cleaned my liver in a while. Maybe I'll send it to the dry cleaners, and when it comes back, it'll be nice and clean, and I'll put it in my body. That's silly. But there is a way you can clean the insides. And the inside clean is the very most important part. God keeps us clean on the inside. A bath doesn't clean our inside. A shower doesn't clean our inside. But God keeps our insides clean. If you're angry towards someone or you're jealous of someone and you feel like being mean to them, you need to ask God to help you forgive them. He will help you forgive them and that spot in your body where you're thinking bad thoughts will be cleaned. If something goes wrong and you get upset because you did something wrong, which we all do at some times, you ask God to forgive you. And once you ask God to forgive you, that part of your body is clean. And most of these parts live in our heart. So if my mom tells me to do something and I talk back and say, I don't want to do that, you can't make me, which would be a really stupid thing to do, I ask God for forgiveness and he takes away that dirty part from inside my body. Now. Sometimes we have trouble following God's rules. God has a lot of rules for us. Love your neighbor as yourself. Be kind. Take care of things that you have. Take care of the planet. All kinds of rules that we need to follow. And sometimes it becomes hard to follow them. 
and that makes us in, unclean in our heart. So we can go to God and say, God, please help me to follow your rules. Lead me. And when you do, I will follow you. And that cleanses or cleans your heart also. Now, what's more important? To have a non-stinky dishwasher or have a clean heart through God's eyes? Obviously, the clean heart through God's eyes. And God is the only way we can clean our insides. There's nothing we can buy that will do that. There's no doctor we can go to that will do that. Only God can clean our hearts and make us clean inside. And the good news is he's very willing to do that. All we have to do is ask. So the next time you're feeling angry towards someone, or you've done something wrong, or you're not feeling following God's rules, take a minute and ask God to help you. And if you pray really hard and you really mean it, you feel so much better when you're done because it almost feels like God has used a toothpaste and toothbrush on your heart and taken away the feelings. Let us have a prayer now. Dear God, help us to be clean on the inside and the outside. Thank you for making our insides clean through your forgiveness and love for us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can be clean on the inside, <clears throat> inside and live lives that please you. Amen.